They may not be the fanciest of footwear, but flip-flops, also called thongs, are inexpensive and comfortable. It's believed these flat sandals with the Y-shaped strap are modeled after traditional Japanese sandals that have a wooden sole and a Y strap woven from plant fibers. The anatomy of a flip-flop is pretty basic. A sole and Y-shaped straps called uppers. The sole is constructed from a top and bottom. They make the bottom out of either heat moldable plastic or rubber. An injection molding machine shoots the molten material into passing molds. Two fans positioned over the injector kickstart the cooling process. Then a continuous water cooling system takes over. Three and a half minutes after injection, the material is solid. They make the top soles from 8.5 mm thick rubber sheets. A hydraulic press forces a sole-shaped die through the sheet, like a cookie cutter slicing through dough. The die also cuts a hole and two slits for attaching the uppers. Some flip-flops have decorations on the top soles. The design is applied on each pair manually, using a standard screen printing process. The factory prepares a screen for each color of the design. The screen is kind of like a stencil, open mesh in the shape of the design, and the rest of the mesh is blocked. Workers load a pair of soles in each station of a rotary screen printing machine. Then they mount the screens. They close the first screen over the pair of soles, then with a squeegee, spread ink across the screen surface. The ink passes through the open mesh, applying the design. They move the soles to the next screen and do the same with the second color of ink, and so on. Now for the uppers. For this flip-flop style, they glue ribbon onto cotton tape. Once they've correctly positioned the ribbon, they stitch it in place. Then they connect the left side and right side straps with masking tape. Add a toe piece, then stitch everything together. For aesthetics, they sew a cover piece over the toe piece. Uppers give the flip-flops their look through different materials, colors, thicknesses and embellishments. The design possibilities are endless. Now, to connect the uppers to the top sole, workers insert the toe piece into the toe hole and a strap end into each slit. They apply glue, trim the ends, then insert a last, a foot form in the required shoe size. They pull the straps tightly against it. Next, they coat the bottom of the top sole and the top of the bottom sole with glue. Then a quick trip through an oven activates the adhesive. Workers then place the bottom sole on a positioning guide and stick the top sole onto it, locking the strap ends in between. This is instant contact glue, so they have just one chance to get the alignment right. A four second bonding experience in a press and their soul mates. However, the former bottom sole is slightly larger than the former top sole. So with a high speed sander, workers trim off the excess, leaving the edge even and smooth. After a manual sanding touch-up if necessary and thorough quality control inspection, the flip-flops are ready for packaging. Workers stuff a wad of paper under the uppers to prop them up should the bag get squashed during transport. Once considered strictly beachwear, flip-flops have stepped it up in style to become fashionable everyday footwear.